Oh, uh, y'all, let's see how to create a consumer in ASP.NET Core. And this is a continuation of previous video. Link provided in description box. Let's see. Here, I created ASP.NET Core Worker Service Project. Inside this project, uh, in appsettings.json file, I provide the RabbitMQ details, RabbitMQ URL, uh, RabbitMQ colon slash slash local host and our virtual host name, and I provide the username and password and the queue name. And uh, here created student detail class inside that created interface of student details and provide the properties ID student name grade. We are going to receive these values. So created properties of that. And created a class of message consumer. I'm going to make this message consumer class as consumer. Um, so inheriting I consumer interface and provide the model or interface name inside that uh, here we are going to receive student details inside this interface. So mention that name of that. And to create a consume method uh, when your mass transist to create a consumer object, it will execute this consume method and passing a consume context message here. So we are receiving the message by context that message. And returning task has completed. Uh, once the task completed successfully, the message is acknowledged and removed from the queue. Uh, before creating a consumer, we have to configure the bus for RabbitMQ. For that, open program.cs file. We're going to configure the bus here. Uh, before that, how to install the package. Right click on your solution name, click manage user packages, and in browse, type mass transist.rabbitmq. Install this package. I already installed that and import the namespace mass transist inside this program.cs file. Insert create host builder method. Configure the services of RabbitMQ using mass transist extension method add mass transist. Inside that, provide the consumer class name inside add consumer extension method. Here, our consumer class as message consumer uh, and inside add bus extension method using host method, provide the RabbitMQ URL, username and password. Uh, here, I configured these values in app settings.json file and using receive endpoint extension method provide the queue name and configure the consumer class name uh, let's check by running before running please make sure that the receiver endpoint model and the publisher endpoint model this publisher endpoint model should have same name and should have same namespace here the publisher namespace rabbitmq service and the receiver namespace also rabbitmq service uh, now let's check Here the bus starter passing these values to queue. Here our consumer received the message successfully. Thank you for watching. Sample code given in the description box. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.